Hello everyone, and welcome back to the SCP Library. Today we're going to be taking a look at S. Andrew Swan's proposal, also known as the Database. SCP-001 Object Class Header Special Containment Procedure There is no means to contain SCP-001 yet found that does not risk a potential ZK-class reality failure scenario and subsequent destruction of the observable universe. Decontainment Protocol ZK-001-Alpha Current procedures are limited to the absolute containment of information regarding SCP-001. No data regarding the nature or description of SCP-001 shall be provided to any personnel with the sole exception of the senior member of O5 Command, currently O5. All data collected in regard to SCP-001 shall be stored in encrypted form via with the decryption key split into thirds. Each member of O5 Command shall memorize one-third, and only one-third, of the decryption key. Data shall be decrypted on a network-isolated, eyes-only terminal to be read only by the senior member of O5 Command, and then only after unanimous consent of O5 Command. Leaking of data about SCP-001 through espionage, telepathic leakage, original research, or must be contained by any and all means available to the Foundation. The senior member of O5 Command, as the one with authorized knowledge about SCP-001, is the final arbiter on containment. Foundation personnel of level 2 or higher who discover data about SCP-001 in the course of their normal duties may be given a Class A amnestic after debriefing rather than being terminated. This is subject to O5 approval on a case-by-case -case basis. Description Addendum Containment Log 001-Alpha Date 01-12-19 Incident Documents appear on an internet site Server seized and authors traced to Resulting in explosion Explained as gas leak Monitoring has not shown any further propagation of documents Date 03-31-19 Incident. Script with possibly compromising information optioned for production by Pictures. Original script writer. Agents successfully replaced script with one rewritten without. Film is produced with the title and grosses 27 million its opening weekend. Date 0619. Incident. Novel outline describing submitted to by best-selling author. Attempt to neutralize author unsuccessful, leading to high-profile hospitalization. O5 authorizes the use of Class A amnestic to prevent more attention to case. Outline recovered and destroyed. Date. Incident. Ask yourself if you want to know. If the answer is no, then you need to stop reading. Now. You go and report this unauthorized file to your superiors, act contrite, and claim that you only read the, to this paragraph, you might get away with a Class A amnestic, if you're lucky, and if the O5s aren't particularly paranoid at the moment. Do you want to know what SCP-001 is? The first answer is that it was a placeholder, a theoretical designation for the prime cause, the ultimate reason for all the paranormal crap we deal with on a daily basis. SCP-001 is why we have to deal with omnicidal reptiles, ever-expanding rooms, extra-dimensional pools of red goop and consumer products that don't obey the laws of normal physics. Of course, given that all these things as dangerous as deadly, and just plain insane as they all are, 
are inherently patternless and self-contradictory. Most researchers are convinced that there is no possible unifying principle for them all, much less common source. They're wrong. There's more than one reason that cross-testing is discouraged, and EO5 is even looked down on excessive cross-referencing of SCPs. EO5s don't want any one group looking at more than a handful of these things at once because of what they discovered when the Foundation tried to develop a grand unified theory of SCP. The research is mostly gone now. Site-001-Alpha was dismantled, scrubbed from the archives, the staff mind-wiped, reassigned. No one left but me. I wouldn't know anything if it wasn't for my habit of not trusting the Foundation servers, having my own personal hidden archive the O5s missed in their panic. I was a data analysis at Site-001-Alpha. Note to O5 Command. Don't bother looking for me. I finished the job you started. The identities of all former staff at Site-001-Alpha have been completely scrubbed from the records. You know as much as they do. And I participated in the first and only attempt to consolidate all Foundation data on all SCPs. I was in charge of data integrity, and as much of a mess as you might think that was, it was an order of magnitude worse. Forget the memetic SCPs, or the ones that modify their own description, or the ones that seem to only inhabit info space and slip into the database to wreak havoc. That's all SOP for anyone who works with the Foundation's network. Just a matter of scale. Worse were the completely inexplicable, unexpected changes in data. Sorry, that's wrong. Even though I can't help thinking of it that way, it isn't a change in data when reality is shifting the match. I don't know a lot about the internals of the software we used, but I know that part of it ran outside what we think of as the real world. And at first, everyone thought that the audit trails it produced were some sort of bug. However, it became apparent that the nature of the software, its purposeful isolation from the narrative affecting SCPs, allowed it to record something far more important. It's not visible to you, or the O5s, or even most of the SCPs we deal with, but the Foundation, and by extension the entire universe, is in a state of constant shifting reality flux. SCP files appeared and disappeared from our database with alarming regularity, and the SCPs referred to, to all appearance, appeared and disappeared along with them. Not just SCPs, but personnel, all sites, and entire decades of Foundation history would be rewritten, seemingly at random. In our own memories, and all external research would confirm that objective, reality matched the current version in our database. One of the researchers told me that as if it was seeing something of the effect of SCP-140, only much larger in scale. Yeah, something a lot like SCP-140, and infinitely larger in scale. I don't know who did the analysis, and if I did, I wouldn't say. She's probably a lot happier not knowing about her own discovery. But she looked at what vanished and what appeared, and what subtly changed in the record. She found the pattern. The drift towards darkness, toward narrative coherence, towards some plot. Everyone who's worked the length of time at the Foundation knows the universe we lived in is a seriously fucked up place. Those of us who still believe in God tend towards serious ambivalence about his handiwork. But we found out that there is a God, and it is SCP-001, and it's a bunch of horror writers. Addendum Emergency Containment Protocol ZK-001-Alpha, O5 eyes only. Enter the decryption key. Decryption key accepted. Note. Containment protocol ZK-001-Alpha carries a non-zero risk of creating a ZK-class reality failure scenario. 
use only should be authorized in an attempt to mitigate an end of the world scenario or the imminent destruction of the foundation. Research at Site-001-Gamma has conducted narrative analysis on SCP-001's changes to the observable universe. Conclusions are that SCP-001 consists of multiple entities showing cognitive patterns that are indistinguishable from human, and that these entities are therefore susceptible to mimetic effects. Since prior experiments have shown information feedback via the SCP data warehouse, a possible method of attack and or control has been developed. Protocol ZK-001-Alpha, when initiated, will cause a software viral insertion of a variety of memetic agents into the SCP database, who the observed information feedback should expose SCP-001 to the memetic effects of these agents. Protocol ZK-001-Alpha consists of three stages. One memetic agents inserted to promote calm and or well-being. 2. Memetic agents inserted to promote sleep, unconsciousness, or catatonia. 3. Memetic inserted to cause death. Given the nature of SCP-001 and our limited interaction with it, it is not possible at this time to safely test protocol ZK-001-alpha and it is unknown if the universe can continue to exist without interaction with SCP-001.